Welcome to this tutorial on dynamic range diagrams. The dynamic range diagram can be used for several purposes, including showing the range of volumes between the quietest and the loudest that an instrument or an audio device can produce, the range of volumes between the quietest and loudest that an audio device can accommodate, and the relationship between the unwanted noise and the wanted audio signal in an audio device or system. The dynamic range diagram has no time axis and simply shows amplitude. At the bottom is silence or the theoretical lower limit of human hearing at zero decibels. If the diagram is showing the dynamic range of an audio device, audio system or human hearing rather than an instrument, a second horizontal line shows the level of any unwanted noise. The level of the noise element is known as the noise floor. Above the noise floor there may be a horizontal line that shows a reference level for measuring the relationship between the unwanted noise and wanted signal, the so-called signal to noise ratio. Above the reference level another horizontal line shows either the peak level that can be accommodated or produced. If the diagram is showing human hearing this will be the threshold of pain. Between the reference level and peak level is a region known as headroom. This region represents a safety margin where momentary peaks above the average reference level can be accommodated. This element of the diagram is commonly included in diagrams that represent dynamic range in analogue systems such as tape recorders and mixing desks. Above peak level is distortion and clipping and the danger area for human hearing damage. Another of our videos covers dynamic range theory in detail. The script for this tutorial can be found at our website projectstudiohandbook.com and finally, don't forget to subscribe at our website or Facebook or Twitter channel in order to receive notification of new videos, blog posts and member-only extras. Thanks very much for watching.